بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم رب زدني علما so the next thing we'll try to understand how exactly the wsa works again it slightly depends on the mode again so i'm not getting into that mode we'll talk about there are two modes but the normally uh, how wsa works is the first step is the user initiates a traffic now take an example here we have a user here the user initiates a traffic let's say he he just say let's say i want to access this specific url or opens specific web browser and access the specific url now normally what happens is that in normal cases the traffic goes to the asa the gateway and that gateway again routes the packet onto the internet that is a normal normal process uh, in general but in our case it's not going to be like that so what happens is when whenever the gateway receives we'll configure the gateway to with some kind of protocol called wccp we'll talk more on that later now the gateway will be configured to redirect the traffic back to the wc so now the traffic instead of going on to the internet it it redirects to the wc by using some wccp configuration or the protocol so now what happens is the wc receives the web request now two things happens here one is the first thing the wc is going to check whether this particular url is allowed or not because it's going to check with the policies uh, as per the policies accessing to the specific url or whatever the application running into that url basically is that allowed or not okay so it checks the request the third step uh, replies with a denial if the request violates a security policy means you can, you don't have access to this website or the web page because of the security policy if that is not allowed so either it will allow or block so if it is blocked you get a kind of uh, portal that this particular url is blocked so you, you generally see in the companies when you try to type in facebook.com you will get a, a portal page that you have restrict access to this urls now if that is allowed let's say if if you are trying to access this url or this website if it is allowed now uh, the next thing if the if the request is acceptable then the wsa is going to initiate a new connection onto the web so which means now the wsa is going to initiate a request of course it will do before that it will check whether it is having a, a temporary in the in the local memory it has a copy of that particular information or not if it is having that it will allow uh, it will simply forward to the user so assuming it doesn't have a temporary memory or it doesn't have a proxy or cache stored into that so then the wsa is going to initiate the request on behalf of the user so it's like the request is coming from the wsa now onto the internet and then that particular web server replies back the content the web server replies with the content sent to the wsa and then the wsa once it receives again it will check for advanced malware protection if that uh, particular content having any kind of uh, malicious codes uh, basically kind of uh, scanning and if there is any kind of objectionable material probably that will be again blocked and then if it is okay then it is going to store in the cache and then send send the request back to the end user and the next time when the user uh, request for the same content it will be coming directly from the wsa because it's been stored in the local local cache we call it as web caching so these are like the six steps uh, generally what happens like let me just quickly summarize the user initiates the request the request goes to the wsa the first step and then the second step is wsa redirects uh, sorry the asa goes to the gateway the gateway redirects to the wsa and the wsa is going to check whether it is allowed or not if it is blocked it will block the connection if it is allowed then again it is going to initiate a request on behalf of again it's like a new request and the server will respond 
once it receives, it will check for malware detections, scans. Uh, if there is any kind of objectionable material, probably again, it will block that. If not, then again, it will send back to the end user. At the same time, it will uh, cache it so that uh, so that the next time the any other user trying to access the same content, it will be replied from the local cache.